how the Nigerian, the younger generation in Nigeria have actually held Nigeria up for a very long time in the sense of, if you take for instance, um, I personally I feel like the odds are against them, whether it's in the music industry, whether it's in the actors and actresses in the Nollywood industry, technology, which is a major um, source of income for Nigeria, which mm. is being spearheaded mainly Definitely. by young people. Do you understand? Even if you take it back as far as politics, within the APC, the strength of our party has always been the younger generation. So I don't feel, what I feel is lacking is that how, what I feel is lacking more than anything is that how maybe the younger generation in Nigeria are not fully appreciated. We haven't fully, I mean, what you need to understand is that majority of our population are under the age of 40, according to statistics yeah, anyway, true. majority true. of our population. So it also, um, it also means that how, yes, we have a lot of people doing great, but we also have a lot of people not doing so great. But the ones that are doing great are what is holding our country firm today. Mm -hmm. Everywhere where we excel, say for instance in music, all under 40, yes, right? True. In the mu movie industry, all under 40. In fact, once you're over 40, you're kind of starting to exit that market. Technology, all under 40. True. And these are the areas where we truly excel as a country. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Even so the, the fashion industry. Fashion well. industry, mm -hmm. majority under 40. And these are the sectors where we truly excel. The sectors that we've had problems as a nation prior to this administration, because I know you're going to notice a lot of positive change, simply because the Renewed Hope administration is built fundamentally on young people, on women, and these are the people that are going to take the forefront of leadership, and you're going to definitely see changes, not immediately, but over a prolonged period of time. So I, I feel that how the value that the younger Nigerians have added to Nigeria has been underestimated simply because our own way of assessing success is different. You have to have 10 cars, you have to have 10 houses, you have to be able to fly all over the world before you're deemed successful. So those people who have, who are the elders who have been opportune to be maybe in power and have actually even taken resources from the country are celebrated more than the young people who against all odds have managed to excel in their areas of fi or field or whatever it is mm -hmm. they're doing. So if you look at it, if you look at the for me, when you want to judge something, you have to look at the parameters, right? If, if you're going to judge A and B, then mm -hmm. A and B need to be in like situations. True. Do you understand what I mean? If not, if I have a head start, say for instance, I'm going into a race with a two-year-old, what do you expect? You win. Who do you expect to win the race? You. The odds are against the two-year-old. That's exactly the situation that has been prior to this administration for the younger generation. They haven't been... They, um, how do I their, 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 um, their ability or full potential has not been harnessed, has not been embraced, has not been celebrated. We have always celebrated the corrupt politicians who have somehow found their way into power, have made so much money, and what's the value that's being added? So I want us to celebrate those who have added value, regardless of what, you know, how much money they have, how successful. It looks like on paper you know what i mean because I, for me i believe they're still getting there but rather than celebrating the material things that people have ac acquired why don't we celebrate the accomplishments the value they are adding to nigeria even in the sports industry we haven't touched on that most times when we celebrate as a nation it's because our boys are maybe they're playing football or our ladies are playing football or basketball and they're excelling this has this has been one of the few things that has brought us together you know as a nation